Hi, I'm Sam Felton. I'm a grad student with a Rob Woods Lab at Harvard, with a Harvard Microrobotics Laboratory. And uh, so what are you working on? Uh, this is a self-folding printed itchworm. Our goal is to make uh, robots that can be printed as quickly and as cheaply as possible. And uh, the goal of this specific project is to design them so they can fold themselves. Because often we have these complicated robots which can take up to an hour to fold. Uh, and so this robot uses shape memory polymers uh, to contract and it, it folds itself up almost like it's rolling itself up in a ball, but it only folds at specific hinges. Mm -hmm. um, and then once it folds, we're able to attach a battery and a motor and it can walk on its own. What kind of process does it take to get from the flat to the actual walking robot? Oh, so during the folding process, uh, we supply two amps to each circuit, and the circuits are uh, separate, so we can fold them sequentially. Mm -hmm. And then I assume that you have to add the motor? <laughs> and we add the motor and the battery separately, okay. and add the screws separately as well. Okay. So what's the next step here? What's going to happen in the next generation of <laughs> robots like this? Uh, currently, the goal is just to make a more complicated robot and one that can fold itself and walk away. Mm -hmm. So instead of adding the batteries and the motor afterwards, we add them beforehand, and the robot can go from completely flat to walking uh, without any human intervention. OK, so the robot is sort of printed onto the batteries and the motor, or the batteries and the motor get printed along with the, the robot? The batteries and the motor will be added when we solder on the components manually. Okay. These are items that uh, theoretically could be added with a pick and place machine, mm -hmm. uh, which is like just a giant robot that solders components. Mm -hmm. However, we don't um, have one of those, so we do it all ourselves. OK. And if, are these expensive to produce, or is uh, part of the point? Not necessarily. Yeah, we try and keep it very cheap. Uh, the Shrinky Dinks, for instance, I think only cost a dollar a sheet. And that's the material that they're and, made of? And that's the material that causes it to contract. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome.